It's got a, they got a real life uh, paparazzi. I see. <laughs> Fuck you think I am? What do you think is a game? Watching out for the media. I'm like Bigfoot, nigga. When people see me, they freak the fuck out. <laughs> Even other celebrities get surprised and see me. Oh, shit. Hey, thanks. Come on, you only got 10 minutes. God damn. So, no, that's good. I don't have any material. That stuff's for pussies. Every time I see this backdrop, I think about Kramer fucking up. <laughs> That's why I can't, I don't want to see no camera phones on my ass tonight. Because <laughs> my, I'm telling you right now, my, you know, like I'm not wrapped too tight. Like they, they put a lot of that corporate pressure on me. So I, this might be the night that I, this might be the night that I snap and you got, you guys be lucky. It's like having tickets to see Siegfried and Roy the night that tiger bit that motherfucker's throat. He's like, I was there when that Chappelle freaked out. I was there. Because that's why we really go to the tiger show, right? You don't, you don't go to see somebody be safe with tigers. You go thinking in the back of your mind, like, this nigga might get bit. I'd like to see that in person for $35 if I could. Never seen somebody get bit by a tiger before. <laughs> Only thirty-five dollars. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. I, I tell you the truth, when I seen Kramer's tape, I learned about myself. You know what I learned? I think I'm only like 20% black and 80% and comedian. You know what I mean? And uh, black dudes can relate. You know what I mean, bro? Like when you saw that shit, you was furious, right? Black dude with me was like, Kramer, you motherfucker. Like, I was hurt. And the comedian in me was just like, whew, niggas having a bad set. Hang in there, Kramer. Don't let him break you, Kramer. Oh, I wish I was there so bad. Because, you know, you know, in the back of his mind, he was thinking, I'll get him the next show. There won't be a next show, Kramer. 